Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam with the Flute Corporation. Um, today we are in my workshop slash garage um, talking about the Fluke uh, DS701 and DS703 diagnostic video scope. Um, these are really, really great industrial tools uh, for technicians that want to be able to do inspections on equipment without having to do teardowns or uh, you know any kind of invasive type type of um, dismantling of equipment. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool today. I'm doing a boat restoration here in my garage on a 1964 whaler, and one of the things I was noticing is that the uh, bilge pump and the drainage was not actually draining. So what I was going to do is I was going to use my my boroscope here to do an inspection because I really can't see what's going on in there. So um, before we get started on the inspection, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the tool itself. It's a, uh, it's a ruggedized tool. The camera itself is a dual camera. So we've got a camera on the tip and we also have a camera popping out 90 degrees off the end here. So we've got two different angles that we can view it at. We also have an adjustable LED light that allows you to uh, illuminate the uh, product or piece of equipment that you're inspecting. It's, um, it's also got a nice uh, seven inch touch screen, really intuitive interface and super easy to use. It also has uh, Fluke Connect technology, which allows me to connect it to my, um, my smartphone so that I can uh, transfer images and video off of the tool onto my phone and uh, transfer that data or tag it to an asset if I was in a, in a production facility. So really quickly what we're going to do is we're going to just walk through the menu options here. So on the touch screen, what we've got is up here, we've got the main menu. This allows me to change from video mode to image mode. I can also change the color. Uh, we've got true color. We've also got uh, texture, which gives a little bit of extra texture. Uh, to the image um, and we've got a UV inspection so you can actually do like a UV dye inspection that you can in inject into something. Um, inspection mode just gives you a really nice enhanced image so that you could uh, do a close-up on uh, say some writing or something like that. So we're going to go back into the main menu here. Um, this is the image storage. I don't have anything stored right now. But once I start taking pictures, I'll be able to start um, start saving them to my phone if I want to. And then uh, I've got my capture button right here. So if I actually wanted to go ahead and take a picture here, um, I just hit the capture button. And I've now saved that image. So if I go back into the menu, there's my saved image right there. So it's keeping everything nice and tight. Um, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to, because we're going to be getting into a, a tricky little spot here, is I'm going to illuminate the camera here. So I'm going to hit this button right here, and as you can see, I'm going to try to use both hands. I'm going to adjust that. You can see the LED is going to go on. So now I've got my LED. So I'm going to start by going back here. Um, there's a hole in the back that allows water to drain, and I was noticing that water wasn't getting water wasn't getting out. And so what I'm doing here is as you can see there's a pretty big obstruction it looks like there's some leaves and some debris in there so <clears throat> what i'm going to have to do is clean that out so i can allow it to drain you'll also notice that the um, the image is rotating as i'm rotating the camera it's actually rotating on the screen here so that's that's a technology called always up so i'll know which way i'm oriented as i'm as i'm winding through something so as you can see Gives a nice little, nice little image here. So there are my leaves that's preventing my uh, bilge pump from draining. So what I want to do is I'm going to go in here and just take a picture. I can do it with one hand here. So I'm just going to hit save on that. I know it's not a great picture, but I'm doing it one handed. Um, <clears throat> I can also go in here and look at it from the other side. Um, I've got another one right here. Um, this is basically what allows the water to drain from the boat out into the bilge. 
one of the cool things too, this camera, the camera itself is IP68. So it's dust resistant and uh, waterproof. So you, it's actually uh, immersible up to, uh, I think one meter. So you can, you know, put it underwater um, and it's gonna hold up just fine. So if I wanna take a look here, um, you can kind of see my bilge pump in the background right there. I can actually pop that off. And you can see all this garbage in here, which is causing the, uh, causing the water buildup. So obviously I'm gonna go in there and clean that out, but what I wanna do is maybe, t maybe snap another picture here. Oops. Take one more picture. Okay, so that's probably good. Um, I've got the engine cover popped off too. So if I'm a, you know, if I'm a technician in a facility, uh, production facility, it's also a really nice tool um, for doing inspections on equipment. This might be a little bit bright, so I can turn the LED light down a little bit if it's too. But obviously, you know, you can't you can't climb in here to take a look at what's going on. But if you wanted to do an inspection on a piece of equipment. Um, this gives you a really nice way of doing a visual inspection on something uh, without having to really take it apart. So the next thing we want to do is I just wanted to highlight real quick the, the Flute Connect capabilities. The 703 is actually equipped with Flute Connect. Um, it's currently turned on. You can see the, the icon right here. So I'm going to put this down right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings on my phone. So I'm going over to the memory. Those are the pictures that I took. I'm gonna go into my phone here and into my settings, I'm gonna turn on um, the Wi-Fi hotspot on the device, that's turned on. So I can actually go over here into my Flute Connect app and I can go into Flute Connect. If I go into capture measurements, right there, it's, the app is telling me that it's looking for Flute Connect tools. Right now there's my DS703. I can click on here. Um, and now it's asking me if I want to download everything to my Flute Connect uh, database, or I can select the images that I want to download. So I'm going to go ahead and do select images. And these are all date and time stamped. Um, we'll just pick them all. So I'll go ahead and hit download. Download complete. Hit OK. So now it's saving my measurements to my... Uh, Flute Connect desktop. So right now I've got the images of what I was inspecting. Now these aren't great pictures, but let's say I was in a facility and I wanted to take a picture of a motor or some duct work or something like that. Um, I can go ahead and actually tag these to an asset. So I can actually, if I wanted to have asset groups built for my motors, for my pumps and blowers and fans, and all these uh, inspection photos that you're taking can be very easily be tagged to those assets and shared with your team for doing, um, for doing any type of uh, maintenance or repair work that needs to be done. So that in a nutshell is the, uh, is the Fluke DS703FC. Uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate your time today. If you have any questions, feel free to um, reach out to us at fluke.com or your local sales engineer. Thanks, take care.